Today we are going to make tree collage art. This is what our project will look like. And we are going to draw inspiration from some tree artwork. So we are going to make an art project today about trees. This is what the final product is going to look like if you want to put it in a frame, which you don't have to. So this is a project we did at the Museum of Fine Arts Houston, and we're going to do it right here at home. All you need is scissors, glue, a pencil, any old magazines or paper that you have around the house, a white paper, and a black paper. Or you can use two white papers as well. That's totally fine. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a collage on the bottom white piece. We're going to cut out anything blue or green, more green or blues or that tone of colors and we're going to collage it onto this paper. Then on this paper we're going to cut out a stencil of a tree and when we're finished collaging the bottom page we'll take the stencil and glue it on top. And that's how you see the beautiful collage colors shining through where the leaves are and the trunk of the tree is. Okay. So what you can do, oh look at that, I found a cool bug on a red paper. I'm going to cut up the bug because it's a great color green. See if I can find more green, hmm, let's see, wow, here's a tree and a wildlife picture. I'm definitely going to cut up that. Let's see what I can find in the Houston magazine. Ooh, this is a nice color. Could that be in my tree? Definitely. Let's rip that out. Let's see if I can find any more green. Take all the cutout collage pieces that you've used, that you've found, and glue them onto the white paper. It's important to fill up the whole white paper with all the pieces that you've found. So arrange the shapes in whatever pattern and design you want. Just make sure you don't leave any white. Try to fill up every single part of the paper. The last part of our project is to make the tree for the top of it. So we finished the base. We finished collaging all types of shades of green onto the back, green and blue onto the back of our white paper. So that's ready to go. Now to make the tree to go over top of it. If you have an X-Acto knife, you can ask an adult to help you cut out a tree using the X-Acto knife. If not, you can draw a tree shape onto your black paper, any type of tree that you like. And then, once you've drawn it on a pencil, you can carefully cut out 
the different parts of the stem. Once you finish your background and you finish cutting out your stencil of a tree, comes the exciting part. I can't wait to see how it looks when we put one on top of the other. So we'll hang this piece here and scooch this piece over top and you have your awesome artwork. My favorite part is always to look at how the different colors of green and the different patterns line up behind the tree stencil. So let's glue it down for good measure. Ta-da! So here we have our tree stencil collage project. This is based on the artwork in the Museum of Fine Arts by Jennifer Steinkamp. So this artist made a digital reproduction, well digital not reproduction, a digital project of a tree that we project onto the wall in different galleries in the museum. So hopefully you can come and see our digital projection and until then you can hang this in your bedroom or on the kitchen fridge and when you go for walks with your family and walks around the neighborhood, you can look at all the trees and see if there's any trees that look a bit like your project. Now that you've done the project once, here's a challenge to do it a second time with a different color representing a different season. I've chosen pink for springtime. For me, when I think of springtime in Houston, I always think of the azaleas blooming all over the city, so I thought pink would be a good color. So I've gone through my magazines and picked out any colors and patterns that are predominantly pink. Pinks and purples. Mostly pink. So here I have cut them all out, just like before, and now I'm going to repeat the project, filling up the background with pinks. So I'll glue them on, and then I'll make my tree stencil. You can think of any colors that represent the seasons for you. So for example in fall, maybe you think of fall foliage like golden reds and oranges and yellows. Or maybe if you think of winter, you can think of icy blues and whites. It's really up to you and your own interpretation of the season. If you look at art or go through any art museum, you'll always come across many different trees in art. Artists are often using trees, either in landscapes, trees can be a central part of an image, or in backgrounds for other paintings or portraits. Trees have always been very symbolic in artwork in every culture, from Eastern art to Western art to African art. You can always find a history and example of artists using trees in art. Our, our trees can be very symbolic and trees are very visually beautiful and can transfer a beautiful message.